colour still is for me, I hope will always be actually, um, the most important part of the expressive spectrum. Colour is, is absolutely really what it's about and the texture gives it another dimension. Then the question is, well, how far can you take it? What can you do with it? And all the rest of it. And that, again, is, is fraught with a few difficulties, actually. Uh, one of which is the physical, practical difficulty of manipulating these elements, because it becomes very difficult to change something satisfactorily on the level of the physical nature of these materials. It's very tricky because they're, you can't muck it around like oil paint. I mean, it's not, you know, oil paint is wonderful stuff in the sense that you can almost completely obliterate anything you've been working on, or you might wish to show the history of what you've been working on. Oil paint can do all of that. Yeah, so it's wonderful material. These materials are not the same. You can't do that quite so easily and, and what I've discovered is is that the process of building up one of these pictures is quite a long drawn out one actually which involves removing the stuff that you may not want to remove and starting again you know because however good one's imagination is when it comes to actually creating the painting the the act of putting stuff down will always have its way with how it actually looks you know so you're constantly needing to remove this put stuff more stuff down there. so it's, it's quite a laborious process and very tricky so it's it it has to be visualized to a very high degree before you can really satisfactorily produce an image and I find that very difficult. So I'm, I'm actually constantly being pulled to a more traditional way of doing things. Uh, and I suppose really I'm in that position now where um, I'm still trying to see how far it can go before I have to abandon it, you know. Um, but I, I'm still positive that there are an awful lot of things I can do before I give up this particular way of working.